Hi and welcome to my first video in the series about mutation and disease and today we're going to be looking at mutations. So the first thing really to establish is what a mutation is. So a mutation is a change um, within the genetic material of something. So this can be the arrangement of bases um, or it can be a change in the chromosome structure. Most mutations that happen actually occur within gametes or sex cells um, and there is loads of different types of mutations. Um, now if you think about a likely thing that can happen to a set of DNA bases as it's being read or copied is one of them, uh, one of those single bases might be misread um, and therefore there may be a mistake within um, the genetic material. This can mean that a different type um, of amino acid is coded for and therefore the protein that you go to make um, therefore isn't the same um, because its primary structure isn't the same. Um, and so we can refer to that as a point mutation in some cases and we'll look at some different types in a minute. Um, what you always have to remember is that most mutations are neutral um, and they don't seemingly have any effect but there are mutations that are beneficial and also some um, that are a negative. So as I said before this point mutation is where you can get a, a variation in the um, copying of a specific gene or um, a few nucleotides and in this case um, the codon that's being coded for here is AT gene so when it was copied it may have been incorrectly copied and reverted to ACG. Um, a good example or um, a simile for this will be if um, you look at a standard word like coat and if you change a single letter obviously the meaning of the word changes dramatically and so by changing um, a nucleotide within the DNA sequence it can affect how the protein forms because it affects the primary structure and therefore the secondary and tertiary. A more pronounced um, change within the um, genetic information might be a frame shift and if you look at this example here um, you've got the DNA sequence here and this is a frame shift so what's happened here is it's a deletion of a nucleotide in this case the A and so because um, the nucleotides are read in threes and so you've got the triplet code by removing one of the bases this has a knock-on effect not only to um, that immediate codon but also to all of the subsequent codons that exist within um, that gene and so it has a huge effect and this is referred to as a deletion and again an example of this might be if you look at this sentence here, by removing one of the letters, um, the I for, in, for instance, it means that the sentence doesn't make any um, sense at all. And so a deletion is a much, much bigger problem than a point mutation. Um, so here are some of the types of uh, mutations that can be produced, not only uh, the point mutation and the gene deletion or a, um, a deletion in general. You can have um, the positions of the genes change within the chromosomes. Um, you can get a duplication. Um, that's where a whole gene is replicated. An inversion. Um, that's where the position of some genes are swapped. And a translocation. Um, so where whole sections of chromosomes are broke off and then replaced into a similar section. Um, for the course, I would probably assume that you'd only need to know about point um, and deletions. Um, but obviously there are other types. Now, not all mutations are bad. Um, a lot are beneficial. If you think about um, organisms like bacteria that make lots and lots of copies of themselves, then mutations in some instances are advantageous. Um, if you think about how bacterial infections are now treated with, um, for instance, if you use antibiotics, and so a rapid rate of mutation within something like a bacteria is a good thing. Now, a lot of the bacteria that mutate may have um, the mutation may actually cause the destruction of that bacteria, but there only requires um, that bacteria to produce a single mutation that's a benefit um, for the whole species to survive. And so in some cases it can be an advantage. Um, always remember that most mutations are neutral and don't have a positive or negative effect. Some mutations can be negative um, and can lead to diseases like cancer, um, specifically when cells divide. And effectively, a, a cancerous cell is one that's had a mutation, um, and usually a sign of a cancerous cell is one um, that reproduces rapidly um, and that doesn't function properly, and that's why cancers can appear all over the body. Um, another common um, type of mutation could occur in gametes, and this can lead to um, certain genetic diseases. Um, and we can also cause things like mutations by exposure to mutagens, and so that's things like x-rays, radiation, some chemicals, so alcohol, um, drugs, for instance, can increase the likelihood of certain cancers or mutations.